Hi, in the previous video, I asked what is the next move of those that govern our mentality. So if you'd like to see yesterday's video, just swipe over left and you'll see yesterday's video there. It talks about a new beginning and the money system. Now there's going to be a rule that will be implemented. And remember the devil and the opposite side of holiness, they're very deceitful and they are deceivers, liars, manipulators, and the accusers. So we have 10 commandments to follow and there's a different law set up here on earth and they're going to implement another law. So this card is representing the law that will be implemented. This is the new beginning or a new cycle of that law. They're going to say that the people who have worked hard enough and there's no, there shouldn't be a time for arguing and um, family disagreements that people need to spend more time with the family and worshiping. But this is is going to leave people bound up and tied on a spiritual level. What they're going to say is Sunday will be the day of worship. Now, we know if we can refer back to commandment number four, that the Sabbath Saturday is the day of worship, but they're going to make it a lot. They're going to try and we'll see it happens. If it happens or not, we ultimately have free will. So state now, send your prayers up and affirm that God's will will be done. So they're going to say it will be justice for the people, but this is going to have a horrible effect. Look at these people. They're in a tower and the only way to not be burned or go down with the tower is to remove themselves from the tower, from this tower, from this group, because this group is ultimately going to backstab the people and they will be cut out because the ones with the seal, with the protection from the creator will be the ones who kept his commandments. And one of those was to worship on the Sabbath. So you are being guided to spend that time with your creator on the Sabbath on Saturday. That's the day where you should set aside to not work. And if you do this, you will have, you will be crowned. You will be protected. This is your desires being met. This is wish fulfillment. This is things that are meant for you from past lifetimes to this lifetime, for you receiving the job you want, what's meant for you, the person that's meant for you. This is receiving all this goodness if you abide by the law from your creator, the spiritual law, not the man-made law. Remember, do not trust in man because man will deceive you. It says that in the Bible. So go with the commandments that have lasted and we've upheld for thousands of years, and that is what will declare that seal upon our head, which will protect us from what is coming upon the earth. Pray. If you haven't yet, ask God into your heart and into your home, and you'll see wonderful things happen.